so today I am going to uh, give uh, my very first calculator yes you heard that right not my first graphing calculator but my very first calculator ever I've never owned a calculator throughout middle school or even high school I got this from my cousin when I uh, when I when I was in college you know when I when I first started college and uh, all we're gonna need for this upgrade is going to be uh, a number six torque wrench and uh, a pry tool which I don't have so I have this knife instead it's going to be a little more complicated but uh, we'll manage okay so I've had this for a little less than uh, seven years or about seven years now a little less than eight years I would say I can't even remember but I've had it for a really long time and uh, it hasn't let me down once everything is working fine and uh, everything is original here except for this cover I lost it <laughs> most people do actually and uh, the backup battery cover I lost that one too so this one is a replacement that came from one of these donor okay so I didn't take good care of this calculator I must say I must confess because when I first got it I wasn't really into calculator uh, little did I know that five six years later I would become a, a collector so <laughs> life is uh, life is weird anyways let's go ahead and uh start the uh uh the upgrade not not an upgrade you know the uh the fresh look process so it doesn't really look that terrible as you can see it's just uh i don't even know how these got here but like i said i really didn't take good care of this calculator i would just you know let it uh i would just uh let it around you know drop it not even care about it and uh, it didn't break I even spilled some liquid only one time I believe it was some juice can't remember so I got this uh, negative sign that is sticky I did my best to uh, clean it using a using a wipe but uh, that didn't solve the problem completely you know it's uh, only the negative key that is uh, sticky but it still works fine all the key works so I am going to go ahead and open it up and as you can see, this came from uh, another TI-89. This one is uh, slightly, slightly better condition than mine, I would say. Uh, the face plate, my, my face plate really isn't even that bad looking. It's the back one that is uh, pretty messed up. As you can see, my cousin I put uh, some writing on it. And uh, yeah, so beside that, I mean, it's uh, pretty good. But you know, I just uh, wanted to give it a fresh look. so I. So I, I thought to myself, you know, why not just uh, why not just use uh, this uh, cover? And uh, depending on uh, how sticky the keys are or how dirty the keys are, I might just uh, replace it with this one, which I don't even think I'm gonna have to do. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay. So first, let's go and turn it off. Take the cover off. Remove all the triple A batteries. I don't have a backup battery in here by the way and uh, I don't really care about losing my memory because I don't really have anything important important on it okay so first thing first you need to remove this one one time I forgot to remove this one and uh, I almost uh, made a mess by breaking the part okay so just make sure you keep track of all your parts so I'm just gonna put all my screws here so this is the only one that doesn't require a uh, number six torque wrench okay so you don't even need any special tool this should do it okay so we have six screws here three alongs along each side okay. <clears throat> so first one come nice and easy so i'm just gonna pause the video remove everything so it doesn't the video is not super long okay so i remove all the six screws here and uh, one thing i want to point out is that this level six uh this number six is uh fits really well here and uh, if it would have been any shorter even one millimeter shorter it would not fit because ti they were trying to keep people out of these things and uh this is the only level number six uh torque that works with this i have uh, another one that doesn't fit because it is a tiny bit shorter you can only get to the top two but the middle one and the bottom ones it won't because those are deeper inside okay so now you know so when you when you are getting ready to uh, pick one up just make sure you take uh, the size into consideration or the height okay so now that that's removed when i said this is side and uh i can't really uh okay let me just pause this video and try to look for a prior to 
if you look you shall find so i was able to find this one so we are going to proceed with curl let's uh work our way around the sides sides okay so this has this thing has never been open okay i uh let's see i'm trying to do this behind the camera so you can see so as you can see once you remove the screws uh the calculator is gonna become uh, losing a little bit the case is gonna loosen up a little bit so that's what you gotta uh find and once you find a weak spot you can just uh put your tool inside of it and uh push it up i think okay as you can see okay so um inside so i'm just gonna push it up try to lift it up a little bit okay so i'm gonna lift it up do this carefully because i don't want to damage anything inside it's really hard to damage the component inside because there isn't any cable on the side so you should be fine okay so as you can see uh i'm gonna do the same for this side and it's almost completely loosened up okay and I'm just gonna push it down as you can see push it down carefully okay and uh, i should be good Okay, you gotta be careful. I don't wanna break anything here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I forgot to take one screw off. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, I can't believe this. How did that happen? But the good thing is, since we are going to be replacing the case, the casing, everything, it's not gonna be a big deal, even if uh, I break something here. But you know, I wanna preserve everything as much as I can. So as you can see, yeah, this is probably the liquid damage. Not 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 a damage, it's probably the liquid that was spilled inside a while back, a couple of years back. Okay. So okay, so this is for protecting it against dust, I guess. So this is my calculator. Wow, this is pretty uh beaten up. Okay, so yeah, there's some liquid damage here. I'm actually glad that I opened it up so I can clean this up before putting everything back together. Okay, so once you open it up, there's nothing special here. Just, uh, you know, the terminals for the battery and uh, the connector for the terminals. And now we have six additional screws. So let's see. Yeah, six additional screws. So these two here. I set this aside. And this one. Over here as well and now I can lift this up okay huh so I said that no one has ever been to this and I'm pretty sure no one has ever been to it you know I'm, I'm pretty sure but I guess this could be I don't know I could be wrong I got this calculator used before then my cousin had it so I don't know who else had it before my cousin so it is what it is okay so as you can see we can just uh, wash this. So I'm gonna pause the video, just clean this up a little bit uh, with water, you know, with uh, soap and water and put it under the sun. It's pretty hot here in Texas, so it's gonna dry up in no time, like in 20 seconds. So this is what I decided to do because I have so many of these calculators, broken ones, uh, not well, not way too many, like three broken ones, you know. Uh, I just uh, want I just use this one instead. This one looks uh, nicer, you know, it's better looking. Uh, this is the original one, and uh, you see these things are barely legible. And uh, this one is in good condition. Even this mesh or film protector, I think this is supposed to protect it against falls and stuff, is slightly nice looking because when uh, the liquid got into mine, you know, it got some of the stuff got stuck in here. So I think it's just best to use this one instead, all right? So I'm just gonna set this aside and uh, we are just gonna go for this one, all right? So now, I'm, uh, I'm gonna take this out and depending on how dirty it is, I might be tempted to just clean it. But first, okay, let's just make sure I put all my stuff on the side. But first, uh, let's uh, take this these additional screws off, okay? Okay, 
we got two extra screws and then that's it so this guy here has a total of uh, 13 screws which is quite reasonable I don't know why companies do what they do why not just make everything one school the same school okay so you can just uh, push this up and uh, the good thing about this is I mean the keys come off but even if they do it's not too hard to put them back wow it's slightly harder to tell behind the camera but this thing is filthy wow this thing is really filthy so that's why it wouldn't you see like uh, the liquid I was talking about as you can see you got inside the keys and stuff you know I could uh, easily clean it up I don't know if I should just clean it up or just use the other one you know it's really up to me but uh, okay uh, you know what you know what I'm just gonna use uh, this one because uh, I don't want to spend too much time on it so I'm just gonna use this one this one is uh, perfectly functional and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna set this aside I can always use it for some other stuff as you can see it is kind of dirty all right so this is the main board right here the display you gotta be careful with that so i'm just gonna clean that up the edges okay nice and clean okay so the board doesn't look too bad, so I don't even need to wash it. Hmm. So this is the display, the connectors. Okay, interesting. This is just a tape that goes on top of it to keep everything secure. So you probably don't want to mess with these things, because these pins, if any of these get damaged, then uh, you're out of luck. And uh, it's pretty much, uh, it's almost impossible to replace, to swap the LCD on these things. Trust me, I tried before and it didn't, it, it didn't, uh, it didn't end well, okay. So what I'm going to do though, you know what, to avoid corrosion, I'm just going to wash this with water, okay. With soap and water, it's not going to, it's not going to damage anything, alright. Everything is, uh, everything is sealed in here. So I'm just going to pause it and just wash it really quick. Okay, so I did my best, but, uh, the damage was already done so there really isn't anything i can do about this thing at least uh from uh, from my point of view so uh wash this just wash uh, with water this side and also went ahead and clean this part up a little bit you know so let's just uh before we put everything back together let's just uh let's just make sure we haven't messed anything up so i'm just gonna set this over here and uh i'm gonna where are the batteries? So this is the downer. Okay, I already washed that one too. And I let it dry in the sun for a couple of minutes. Like I told you, Texas sun is no joke. Africa has nothing with Texas sun. Okay, Africa sun. Okay, so anyways, uh, we got everything in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put this like so so you're gonna take my word for it it's hard to see this behind the camera so i'm just gonna do this for myself guys gotta make sure the contacts it's really hard to do this behind the camera so let's see let's see if i'm gonna get any luck by setting it on here like so Oh, okay, so I see what's going on. So this thing wasn't uh, all the way in place. Okay, so let me just do this right quick. Still I think that's because the connectors aren't touching it. And this one is out 
all of these socket okay let me just take my time with this uh let's see it's like every time i intend to make a video short something just come come up and uh you know Okay, so we got some action. So we haven't damaged anything, as you can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything back together now. Now we know that everything is working fine. So first thing first, this is the donor. So I'm gonna put this in here, just like so. So everything is just, you know, like a logo. Like, not, not a logo, a Lego. Okay. So that's there. I'm gonna put this uh, protection here. Everything fit nice and easy because I mean it's the same stuff. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this back here. Put this one here as well. I'm gonna screw this really quickly. Okay. So now that we put everything back, I'm just gonna pause the video, put the screws, and uh, walk through. It. Walk, walk you through the remaining step okay so i'm gonna put this this okay to do that first uh okay uh i need to do this one first this first and then uh <laughs> i forgot how to do this one let me pause if you don't try to figure it out okay Rookie mistake, I forgot to put the keys, the keyboard on. <laughs> wow, that would have been funny, huh? <laughs> okay, so let me take this out really quickly. Okay. So we need to take this off. Take this out. We gotta put the keys first. Nice and easy. Okay, all the keys are fitting pretty well. Okay, and now. Hmm. Oh, I think there is a broken uh, stand, stand here. Wow, that's really unfortunate, but hey. Uh, it's okay. It's just one screw. It's not gonna be a big deal. Probably happened when I was trying to open this up with a knife earlier because I didn't have a prior tool. But I didn't bother to look for one. But uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. It'll be fine. Okay. So everything is well in place. Okay. So. These screws goes one to go here. That's now this is the outside one. So one, two, then the other two. Hmm. All right, let's pause the video and try to figure this out. Okay, so the one goes here, 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 and here. Now we gotta sort out. So I'm just gonna put this. I'm gonna put the top one first here this is extremely hard to do behind the camera uh, with my kind of setup okay and I also realized that I, I uh, broken a like a I call this like a clipper here so one two three we should have four but I managed to break, break this one when I was uh, taking it apart again I didn't bother to look for a prior tool but uh, it's not a big deal you know it's not gonna these things are really well built I'm actually using one with no screws at all so nothing's gonna happen nothing bad is gonna happen okay you want to make sure you don't Screw these things too tight. 
Okay, I think when we put this, let's see, yeah, so this thing has to be at the bottom of uh, the protection. Okay, so just make sure you, you get it right. Again, make sure you don't make it too tight, too, too tight. Okay, damn. 20 minute video just for a simple, I kind of mess it up too, so that counts. Well, 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 it's like, I can't do anything about making my video shorter. Cause like I say, my videos aren't scripted because I don't really find any point of doing that for the stuff I do you know I want to make this as authentic genuine as possible and I think I've accomplished that so now we're gonna put this and uh, put these two over here you guys can see everything is been nice and tight okay, okay last two Last one okay so here we go okay this one is not taking it really well but it's okay the other ones are pretty good in there and uh, we are good so everything should be uh, okay I'll put this in here to put them out of the way. I don't know what they were supposed to be at. I was probably supposed to put this uh, behind it before I screw it, but you know, uh, this is my first time opening one of these. Well, not my first time. I did all this uh, opening today, so I've opened two of them today, and uh, before then I hadn't, I'd never been inside one of any of these, so I could. You know what? It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, you know. Once the case is on, then uh, it'll be fine. There is nothing, this is not going to damage anything. I am sure of it. So I'm pretty confident we are good. We are more than good, all right? So, now we just need to put the So I'm going to remove the battery. Because uh, I don't want to, when putting this, I don't want any random shutdown, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, I believe we are good so far. So far, so good, huh? Okay. Okay. as you can see this is the side that was broken but you can't even tell because everything fit pretty well okay once I put the screws here then uh, this is going to be really tight or maybe once this side yeah I guess you can tell a little bit but the screw is gonna get the job done hopefully okay again quick check just to make sure we haven't screwed anything up and uh, sure enough we are good okay 
the screen is a little bit darker that's because of the contrast I can easily take care of that as you can see everything's working as it should okay so I'm going to put the uh, this uh, bottom this is the cover for the backup battery I don't have anything here because I don't really care much for the RAM uh, I mean the memory being lost because I'm not really doing anything important on this calculator anyway it's just uh, okay so I'm gonna put all my screws here and uh, yeah so I'm gonna pause the video do that okay everything is done as you can see the side is holding perfectly fine you know you can't even tell there's anything broken inside and there is no you know shaking noise whatever everything is sturdy and uh, everything is working as you should okay let's just solve a simple equation minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 solving for x okay and uh, uh oh this is a second degree polynomial why are we getting only one answer if we try the C solve, then maybe that's going to tell us what's going on. Okay, anyways, <laughs> this is not a math tutorial, so I don't really, I don't really want to go into too much detail why we only got one answer. And uh, yeah, so there we have it. If you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section. And uh, it is better looking than it used to be. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with it. This is my very first calculator. You know, even though it doesn't look like it, but it actually is. Don't get fooled with uh, this uh, better looking uh, uh, casing, but uh, it's uh, what's inside that matters. And uh, all the keys are working fine, you know. So, yeah, we good. Okay, I don't have any pro program on here, and uh, yeah. And also, one thing I just learned about this calculator that's what I love about the 89 is. Uh, Okay, so if I go to graph and uh, try to graph uh, a polynomial of the second degree, minus 2x plus 1, I can graph that. And if for some reason I wanted to do something else with the function, so if I want to do, oh, okay, so I wonder uh, what would my uh, f of 2 be, you know? So instead of you rewriting the whole equation you can just uh do y1 of 2 and uh it is going to you know take the equation that you have here and replace our two and replace the x with the two and you can do that if we replace x x with zero then we're gonna end up with uh one one as well so y1 y of two is one and y of zero is going to give us uh one as well as you can see so that is really uh that's that's really handy before I would only uh, I would always uh, go to custom menu first how do I get to custom mm. so blue key home and then I would press F2 then define my f of x x squared minus 2x plus 1 and press enter and then I would have to do F you know look, click the alpha key and look for the F letter and uh, do f of one and you know and so on you know and uh this is uh slightly uh better you know this is slightly better because you don't have to do all the typing so yeah there you go anyways this is a 30 minute video i didn't intend to make this a 30 minute video i wanted to make it at, at uh 15 minutes at best but it is what it is you you already saw for yourself what went down <laughs> what went wrong what went right but uh the only thing that matters is uh we end up with a good calculator working it again Okay, this one is, uh, I talk too much. Goodbye, guys.